Okay, so this is um, asked question on the topic, and we are supposed we have been told that without using calculator or table, we have to evaluate three cos three one five minus two sine two one zero. We are supposed to leave our answer instead. So in this case, three one five two one zero. The best thing that we are supposed to get ourselves noted is remember the aspect of the cut. But let us write the question. So solution. So we have three three one five minus two cos two one zero. We draw the cast. It's very necessary at this end that we will draw it and then use it to be able to solve the question. So I'll draw the diagram and indicate the movement. Good. Good. I've gotten my x, y. So here is zero degrees. Zero, three, six, zero degrees. Ninety degrees. One, eight, zero degrees. Then two, seven, zero degrees. Okay. So at this point, what we do is we try to look at the movement for us to get. Um, 315. So 315, this is 270. We are moving at the clockwise. So we just move all the way to, let's say, two, let's say 270, whatever. We are getting our figure somewhere here. This is the movement. So if I subtract 315 from 360, what would I be left with? If I subtract 315, I'll be left with the angle here will be 45 degrees. So because the angle here is 45 degrees, it means that the angle is an isosceles. So here will be root 2. Just remember this format and then you use it as such. So the, based on the question, we know that cos, um, cos 45, in that quadrant, cosine is positive. If you go back to cast, C A S T. So it means that cosine is positive. So I will just write my three from the angle. Let me bring the 45 degrees here. I've indicated the root 2, 1, 1 here. So we have this one in mind. So how do we get the cosine? It's what? Adjacent hypotenuse. So adjacent hypotenuse. So we're going to have it here. 1 on root 2. Okay, this is in this quadrant cosine is positive. And we say minus two cos two one zero. So if you have this place to be 180, 180 plus what will give us two one zero. So that section will also come to this way. Let me bring it down here. Good. So my angle goes this way. Now if I've gotten here to be 90. Okay, 180 here. What will I add to 180 to, in order for me to be able to get um, 210? It means if I add 30 degrees, so here is 30 degrees. So if here is 30 degrees, I know the opposite of 30 degrees is 1. And the adjacent is root, uh, root 3, and the hypotenuse is 2. So from this, cos ka adjacent hypotenuse, adjacent hypotenuse. So we have minus two, what do we have? Adjacent is root three, and the hypotenuse is two. So what happened is this two will cancel this two, and this three will multiply the numerator. So I'm going to have three root two minus root two. This is over 1. What gets 1 as a single fraction? 
So what I have here is one times three will give me three. Root two times root two will give me minus root two squared. All on root two. Okay, two cancels two. But next on the line, it's going to give me three minus two all on root two. All on root two. Okay, so what is going to happen is that I'm going to take two from three. See, we have two and three. So two from three will give me one on, let me create the species so that it does not interfere with the other. So we have got one on root two. We multiply through the top and down rationalization, two, two. So finally, we are going to get root two on root two squared. Now root two cancel, uh, the square cancel the root. So finally, we are going to get our final figure to be root two on two, which is equals to one on two root two. So this is how you leave your answer in a set form on this question. We will continue um, by solving further uh, past questions on this aspect before we go to the application of trigonometry and also the application of the sine and the cosine rule in solving general questions.